Welcome back to Shane's Main Shop. Today, I'm gonna to show you a quick fix on a John Deere 400. The Shane's Main Shop, I want you to check out the art of doing. And the problem is, when you move your controller to uh, move, go forward or reverse, but mainly forward, and you put it where you want it, uh, and you put the tractor under load, this thing slowly works its way back down to neutral. So in order to operate the tractor, you have to have one hand on this all the time. And because if you're using the plow and you're kind of trying to feather the plow doing stuff, that does not leave a third hand for the steering wheel. So it becomes a challenge to keep you driving straight, messing with the plow, and keeping this forward if you put it under any kind of load because this wants to make its way back to the neutral position. Uh, there is a adjustment for this, and I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. First thing you're going to do is open up this side panel right here. And then what you're looking at here is this little unit right there. Now I'm going to move the handle here while looking at that, and you can kind of see what's happening. You see that thing going forward and backward? If you look closely, there's little pads, four little pads on both sides of this plate here. It acts like little brake pads. Right now, you can see it's loose enough that I can wiggle these pads so it's not squeezing this middle bar here. It's like a two-piece bar, so it's not gonna hold it in position. You don't want it too tight so you can't move it, but you can see as I move this, if those were squeezed up a little bit, you would be um, able to keep it in one position. And there's a pad right there one here and then one down there and one on this side. So it kind of squeezes it in four points. So the adjustment is snugging this bolt up here. Uh, not, I'm sorry, that should uh, fix the problem. So this is, should be a lock nut on here so you can not crank it down tight and it should stay wherever you put it. And that to kind of keeps your adjustment correct. Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about now. And I'm talking about that pad right there. And then there's one right there, one down there and one right here. And that squeezed this middle piece, so when this is moving, it helps hold that in position. And that um, holds it, so you don't have to keep your hand on the shifter, so to speak, keep it going forward. All right, now you can use a socket. I got a wrench in here, and in my case here, it's a 14 millimeter. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just start snugging that up. Again, I don't wanna go crazy with it. I, I, mine's really loose, so. I can probably go a few turns. Tighten up pretty good now. Uh, it's definitely rubbing on all the pads. This is much stiffer, but not too stiff, but uh, definitely seems like it wants to stay now. Before I could just really push it back easy with my pinky, and now not so easy. So uh, I'm gonna try that first before I go crazy tightening it up. Uh, put it under pressure and see how it works. Um, but it's definitely grabbing it now and that's what we want. So that's how you can adjust your tension and your resistance on your lever to move your John Deere 400 forward and backward and hopefully keep it in position when it's under load. I hope you like this uh, video. Please swing by for more videos and I have a playlist on this John Deere 400 of all kinds of videos, different things. So check that out as well. Have a great day. And we'll see you in the next video. Well, thanks again for swinging by Shane's Main Shop. I hope you liked that video. Make sure you come back. I have a lot more videos. But you know, there's another channel out there that's got a lot of videos as well and a pretty good variety. And that is The Art of Doing. Really just trying to inspire people to try different things that they may not have tried before. Uh, but I will put a link in the description. This is Shane's Main Shop. But I want you to check out The Art of Doing. Have a great day. And we'll see you in the next video. You ready to play, Layla?